Welcome to Crafts and Minis. This is week seven of my hashtag hobby streak progress where every day I try to do just a little bit in our hobby. And here's what I was able to do last week. I had a lot of fun last week painting uh, up a whole bunch of different things. Uh, some were like really quick paint, some I put a little more time into, but I wanted to show you what I was able to get done. So the first thing I wanted to show you just real quick, you know, WizKids puts out these uh, $5 packages um, and the Dungeons and Dragons line as Nolzers and you can get this phase spider. So I just did some real quick work on this phase spider. You know with my two-tone priming, the black all over and then white just from the top, you get these natural shadows so like you can see that color transition a little bit. And this was a crazy quick paint. I know it doesn't look the best, but it looks tabletop worthy in my opinion. And with the red eyes, it looks really cool. I went over that with just some indigo um, artist ink. And that's something you'll see on my channel when I talk about painting is I love to use acrylic artist inks. And I actually have a big shipment coming in of a lot more from uh, Dick Blick, who's an artist supplier uh, that has actual retail shops, but also supplies online. And uh, I saw they were doing a deal on Vallejo's acrylic artist inks, which I was like, you know what? I like uh, Vallejo's miniature paints, hobby paints. So I wonder how their acrylic artist inks are going to be. But uh, I'm really excited to try that out. Also this week, I got done two models from the Seltos line, um, which Brigade Games out of the UK still produces. Now, I've had these two models for quite a while, but they just did a Black Friday sale following Thanksgiving, and I picked up some more models from that line. I really enjoy them. So I got done this Barbarian, who is a lot of fun. And then I also got done this dwarf with the keg on his back. And he looks really good. You know, I have a blast painting these. These two were done as part of the um, Goblins paint challenge where you try to just paint at least two miniatures a week uh, with Michael Mordor to the Goblin King. So... I always like to keep track of that. And if you follow me on Twitter, uh, which I know a lot of folks from Twitter just came over to the channel, so welcome. I love all the great sharing that goes on in our community. Um, if you follow me on Twitter, you'll see the progress each week on that Goblins Paint Challenge to paint at least two miniatures. And you'll also get a daily update for the hashtag Hobby Streak. Now, I did these two ogres, and I'm really proud of them because I tried to do a different skin tone on each one. And they turned out pretty good. So the ogre here on the right is from Massive Darkness, but it has a head swap with a Games Workshop ogre. And I love this head from the Games Workshop ogre because it see it has this horn and uh, it has a big piercing on its head. And then the model itself had these big horns on its back strapped to its back. So I just thought that was really cool um, to have these tusks or horns uh, all over in that. That really, for me, made this head from the Games Workshop Ogre Kingdoms Ogre really work on this model. But you can tell on these two, um, there's a lot of almost like black lining, the dark separation between the different muscle groups. And they were a lot of fun to paint. And I just tried to get them done. Now this is an Etten. So the two-headed Ogre. And he turned out pretty good. I mean, if you look too closely at some of the parts, a little sloppy Joe on some parts, but I like to call him the Siege Seeker because he's got this battering ram on his back, and I could just see Annette and being brought in to, uh, to break into a keep or a castle, which is pretty awesome. Also, I got done these four trolls that Old Glory sells. Now, one year I join the old glory army it's the this website this company has this deal that if you buy a membership and i forget how much it was exactly then you get like a crazy percentage off it's like 30 percent or more off i think of all the miniatures that they sell and so i was doing some saga some historical gaming and i, I got some great deals but i know they also sell these trolls now these trolls I'm kind of embarrassed to say how quickly they painted up, uh, super quick, <laughs> but 
Done is beautiful. Remember that. Now, these next miniatures are a lot of fun. These are from Games Workshop from Warhammer. Um, this is an old uh, shaman for the Beastmen, which I'm going to use him as some sort of magic user, of course, for D&D &D and other skirmish games. And then these are really cool. These have the body of old Games Workshop Beastmen. They used to um, have a huge pole arm that they were holding with the right hand and they didn't have a shield in the left. So what I did, I took bits from newer Beastmen models, the shields, and put those on and replaced the right arm completely. And those ended up working out really good. So you see each one of these now, instead of having just that pole arm, has a different weapon. Um, and they're from Beastmen, so the arms work out pretty good. Now, don't look too closely when you compare the right and left, but now you can see, right? Those hands are not the same size. So if you're going to freak out over something like that, this isn't the conversion for you. But on the table, especially when the shield is hiding that one big hand for the most part, these look really cool. And I've had these primed up and ready to go for a while, and it's because of this hashtag Hobby Street Challenge that I finally got some paint on them because, you know, oh, I want to get stuff done. I want to make it table ready. And those have been waiting to be painted for a long time. And part of this hobby streak, you know, when I'm doing a little bit each day, I can do some batch painting. So, you know, I was able to do the different bits on those beastmen at different points. Now, what's interesting is there's not like a direct equivalent to in Dungeons and Dragons for those beastmen, but you can make them... Um, all sorts of different things. You can make them um, mutants of some kind. You can make them satyrs. You could um, come up with your own thing. And I'm not too worried about getting them into a game. I think they're going to be pretty cool. I love the ram's head on them. Uh, and they just look awesome. So this is the progress I was able to do in a week. I just encourage you to consider doing this hashtag hobby streak challenge. Jump in whenever you want. I'm now 50 days into that challenge. And I'm having a blast. Um, it's been so much fun to be part of this community and share, and I just encourage you, this week especially, go get after your hobby.